I never would have imagined myself in prison. Imprisoned by the collection that I put together of the mistakes that I always seem to remember, recalling them like a never ending dialogue with myself. Holding the keys to my freedom, yet staring out of the confinement of self-inflicted oppression. Captivated by the announcement, guilt is the jailer that you do not deserve to forget. So the show must go on. See, my mind would replay incidents from the inglorious days. I made some bad choices. But please, can I get a clean slate? The convenience of amnesia couldn't be more convenient in this time. If I cannot forget, then maybe guilt accusations are right. Or just lies. It is well known that practice makes perfect. Perhaps I've become a pro at this mental ping pong. To be honest, I need it to stop. How long will I let these thoughts go unchecked? I object. I am not a convict, but a victim. Chained by the guilt of the past. Hitting the undo button, but going nowhere fast. Emotionally exhausted. Paying the price has not equated to doing my time, and I am conflicted in this system. Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. This is more than a plea. Father, please. I came short of my expectations and what others expected of me. But I have been forgiven. It makes no sense to keep punishing myself for what I cannot go back and fix. If forgiveness means to cease to punish, then I need to believe this. To finally let go of the weight I have carried. It's like freedom. The feeling of soft raindrops against your skin. After only being able to hear it against a metal prison tin. It's like a warm embrace that gives you a good squeeze. Forcing you to breathe deeply for the first time in a while like a loving hug onto someone covered in debris. It's time to embrace freedom and the beauty of being alive. If you say that I am forgiven, maybe it's time to forgive me.